I'm very interested in working with quality professionals to help them improve their processes even to the manufacturing level. That creates a lot of difficulty. As I learned early on when I came to improve a manufacturing facility south of Chicago, and coming in I found the plant manager, the process engineer, and the quality control manager all waiting for me. I had been commissioned by the top brass to improve the process and they agreed that it could be improved. They only asked that whatever I do, I don't change anything. So that was the difficulty. Of course, at the manufacturing level, it's very difficult to come in and try to make the changes that might be necessary to achieve a breakthrough in quality and productivity. The only way really to achieve a breakthrough is through experimentation. And that is our mission at Staddies Incorporated in Minneapolis. And also the reason why I've written two books on the subject, DOE Simplified, which is coming out in third edition in June, and RSM, which relates to response service methods. Now, taking a step back to the simpler level of DOE Simplified, DOE means design of experiments. And this is a technique that has been around for many, many decades. In fact, dating back to work by Sir Ronald Fisher in the 1920s. Unfortunately, in the quality field, it's very difficult, as I mentioned, to convince the plant people that we can be allowed to make some changes to the process. And only by changing the process can we see what's going to happen and learn how to do it better. So the topic that I'm speaking on at this session is why randomize? Now, randomization is one of the keys to doing a good design of experiment. If you don't randomize, you leave yourself open to other variables like uh, temperature increasing, operators getting tired, machinery wearing down, and so forth. So randomization is one of the keys to doing good DOE. But that's one reason why you can't experiment at the plant level. Even to make any kind of changes is difficult. So what I'm talking about tomorrow at this uh, ASQ WCQI is why randomize, but then the solution to it is you don't have to randomize. Surprise. It turns out that going back to these field experiments that Sir Ronald Fisher did back in the 20s, there's a way to restrict what are called hard to change factors. Hard to change factors. For example, you're trying to do an experiment in your kitchen and you have temperature as a factor. It's very difficult to change that up and down at random. No problem. There's a solution to it. There's a design called a split plot design that comes from the fields of agriculture that allows you to restrict the changes, the number of changes, in certain factors like temperature. So you can do experiments that do uh, restrict randomization and allow you to overcome some of the objections from the manufacturing area. So my take home message to you as quality professionals is that you can use the tools of design of experiments by making use of the split plot design which allows you to uh, deal with hard to change factors. So there is no reason not to do an experiment at the manufacturing level and have your chance to make a real breakthrough and accomplish a win in your professional career. So don't be afraid to try design of experiments.